guys, can somebody tell me what is creativity? Ji, Putter, uncha. Do you think outside the box? What is the box, Putter? So what is normal for your societal setting, for your time, and for what most of the people in your field think? Excellent. Ji, Putter, aap. Uncha. Putter, Uncha, I can't hear you. Okay. Um, so I want, I want you to hold on to that because thought that because we're going to come to it. Anybody else? Aapne haath kara kiya tha? Nay? Okay. I mean, <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Creativity? Anybody? Ji putter. Uncha? That, that are normative for that time and for that setting and for that industry. Okay. So that, that, is, that is one definition of creativity. Kya ho hai, putter? Why is this uh, email being creative in doing this? Okay. Uh, why is creativity important? G. I mean, Why is that a good thing? What depends on it? All progress, all human progress essentially is because of creativity, right? I mean, Hunter gatherer, Charlie Salka Marjata tha, but like, you know, is there if you think about from a upper se, a hundred, hundred feet upper se deko, so is there a real difference between living in for 40 years and living for a hundred years for the regular person? On a species wide level or on a planet wide level, does that really matter that I live for 40 versus, let's say, 80 years? Right? So, so aapki jitni bhi progress hui hai, both as a species and you know, uska jo hum, you know we are the people who uh, you know, are eating the fruit of that. We have longer lives, uh, hopefully to enjoy, uh, if we don't sort of like get bogged down by illness. Um, this is all and we have more comfortable lives. Aapko bahar ja ke do meal dur se paani ka ghada nahi lana padta. Aapko, you know, uh, agar aap ye socho ke, you know, um, I think of my, my daddy's life. My daddy used, told me that um, every other day, from after Fajr to until the sun was up, she and her Devrani would basically grind wheat. And that would have enough flour for a day and a half. When was the last time any of you thought about where wheat flour comes from? Right? This was not just amount a number of calories you have to spend, the, the time investment, just the worry that if you're gone for a couple of days, baki ghar wale lo kya khayenge. Just think of like the constraints that it, the, just the water mill, not even like the modern mechanized mill, when the water mills came, it revolutionized my daddy's life. And this we're talking about just two generations ago, we're not talking about 5,000 years ago, okay? So, um, so why is creativity dangerous? Jeepadar, uncha. That is true, but even at a at a at a much more granular level. आप अपने अम्मा अब्बा से कहते हो कि मैंने जो है आर्टिस्ट बनना है. Jeepadar. नहीं पता मुझे समझ नहीं आया. बोलो. Okay, so A, it's inherently dangerous. You go into a place that you have no experience in. So it's inherently da dangerous. That's like your self-calculation, right? Why, why, is, why, why is creativity sort of like a risque word? Ji putta roon chanu che. So I think well, that's feeding into that point. Okay? It's dangerous. Why else is Jiputar up? No, but 
फिर वाई इज देर ऑलवेज अ पुल मतलब फैज को जेल क्यों भेजा गया था तो सिर्फ पोइट्री लिख रहे थे ऊंचा पुत्र इट चैलेंज द स्टेटस को राइट आपकी बगी की फैक्ट्री है वो घोड़े के पीछे जो लगती है अब एक बंदा कहता है कि मैं ऑटोमोबाइल लाने लगा हूँ मार्केट में राइट right? आपकी तो फैक्ट्री बंद हो गई ना सो इफ यू आर पावरफुल इन दैट सोसाइटी यू आर गोइंग टू वॉन्ट टू होल्ड ऑन टू द स्टेटस को राइट आई एम नॉट गोइंग से मच मोर बट जस्ट सोचो कि जो अभी आपके इर्द गिर्द हो रहा है उसमें से हाउ मच ऑफ दिस इज होल्डिंग वॉन्टिंग टू होल्ड ऑन टू द स्टेटस को ओके so what is creativity it's the ability to produce work that is novel original and useful within a certain socio cultural context i want to have um, an argument with that word useful okay because useful hone ke liye you need to have the technology to be able to implement that so when leonardo da vinci thought of the helicopter was it not creative it was right but it wasn't useful in that time because we didn't have the technology to build a helicopter right so whether something is useful or not depends upon when you are which time did you live in do we choose the time that we live in kisi ne choose kiya ye wala time live in karne ke liye okay all right good all right so this is we already talked about that all human progress owes itself to creativity this is it has the potential to upside down the status quo that's why it always has you know it's always i mean this key on a personal ground jiputar i have a question about the usefulness of creativity so let's say um, even if it's not useful in like a later part of life for example um, creativity isn't always just to you know innovate something mm-hmm. creativity can just be like anything that you want right got a very different age that has never uh, i mean it doesn't add any value to let's say your survival or any so even monkeys ko putter jab aap uh when so i'm 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 just going to answer this and i'm not spreading it out because hamara iske baad quiz hai and we don't have time to do a longer instruction otherwise i think this is something that we should all think about um so uh, monkeys jinko unki um mother se separate kar lete hain and then you basically have one cage in which they have a bottle of milk or you know something to eat and another one jisme ke there is a fake mother jiske upar unhone aise towel like material dala hota hai and the monkeys spend all their time with the fake towel wali mother they only go to the other cage when they have to drink milk so you can say ki you know so art is connection right that is the ultimate purpose of art right it moves so all great art whether it's a painting or a or a statue or a piece of writing or poetry uska function kya hai uska function is to move you from one emotional state to another right and that is clearly even at a primate level more important than food right you need food for survival but given a choice you want the connection right so art is the opposite of useless it is basic i mean aur agar aap ganda art hai jisse ki koi connection nahi ho raha aur aapko dekh ke vomit ho rahi hai to then main uski baat nahi kar rahi but great art by definition is art that moves you from one emotional state to another that connects you to uh, jisne iske upar aur mere sath argue karna hai wo mere sath aake baad mein baat kar le okay डिग्रीज ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी सो मुझे बताया जाए क्या क्रिएटिविटी की डिग्रीज होती हैं या सारी क्रिएटिविटी एक जैसी होती है पुत्र ब्लू शर्ट आप बताएं ऊंचा आई क्रिएटिविटी इज सिंपली एन आइडिया बट उसकी क्या डिग्रीज हैं कि नहीं और नहीं यार डिग्रीज एज ए लो एंड हाई डिग्री तेरा बेड़ा तर्ज है जी ओके सो देखो एक क्रिएटिविटी होती है कि नाला है आपके यूनिवर्सिटी के बाहर उसको फिक्स करने का क्या तरीका है राइट उसमें मैंने सुना ये कि क्रिएटिविटी ये कि जो अथॉरिटी उसके ऊपर बैठी हुई है उसके साथ नेगोशिएट करना है आपको उस नेगोशिएशन में क्रिएटिविटी चाहिए बस इज हाइपर लोकल द सोल्यूशन आर ऑलरेडी नोन यू जस्ट नीड टू फिगर आउट कि इसको मैंने कैसे सॉल्व करना है 
right? Very, very contextual, very derivative, but still creative because, you know, abhi tak solve nahi hua, right? It's an unsolved problem, ji putar. Putar uncha bole nahi to main aapko join up. आपका ब्रेन ज्यादा स्ट्रेच हो रहा है जब आप मल्टीपल डोमेन्स को देख रहे हो इट इज एंटायरली पॉसिबल कि आप मल्टीपल डोमेन्स में डिवाइडेड हो आपको एक भी क्रिएटिव नहीं आया क्रिएटिव आइडिया नहीं आया एंड यू कुड बी जस्ट फोकस्ड ऑन वन यू नो one set of problems or one one field of problems and you have a very creative idea on them so i think aap kehna ye cha rahe ho ki aap ek domain ki ideas kisi dusre domain ke problems pe apply karo to that is creative i think that is one degree of cre creativity ji putra like the example you gave that is lot there if there's a solution there's huh? a problem that has no apparent solution hmm hmm यहाँ सबसे हाई लेवल क्रिएटिविटी कि आप क्वेश्चन डिफाइन करो राइट वो लोगों ने अभी वो क्वेश्चन ही फॉर्मुलेट नहीं किया राइट सो दे डिग्रीज ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी ए कैंड पे लियोनार्डो डोवेंची है जो कि उसका आई मीन उसके कोई हेलीकॉप्टर मतलब उसने परिंदे उड़ते हुए देखे थे राइट कोई परिंदा हेलीकॉप्टर की तरह उड़ता है नॉट रियली राइट सो बेसिकली दिस इज कंप्लीटली यूजलेस कोई टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं है कोई उसके पास मॉडल नहीं है और ही जस्ट इज थिंकिंग ऑफ द स्टाफ लाइक आउट ऑफ हिज ब्रेन जस्ट बिकॉज यू नो हिज ब्रेन इज wired like that and he likes thinking like this right so ji putra you could in this sense we say that for example you know dreams were only the at the first level of creativity because the other with we were discussing you know everything that we see in dreams is potentially just derivative so you know like a lot of people say that dreams can be very creative hmm. they give you very nice ideas for stories etc mm -hmm. um so could we say that it's just only to the first level of creativity i i i want to agree with you we are going to talk about dreams in a minute but i i think i want to agree with you i think all uh, so we are going to talk about where true 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 as we are going to define creativity comes from i the honest answer is i don't know but we'll talk about it. but i do agree, think that so so ek to bilkul ye hai na ki looking at a problem and just sort of come you know sort of uske andar se problem ki permutations mein se ek naya solution nikal lena dusra ye hai ki you look at a problem and you basically step back and you let the daydreaming and the sleeping and the dreaming do its work and aha moment hui hai jaise usko calcul ko benzene ke model ke bare mein hui thi teesri you know people big start completely new fields right people start cheezein jo ki unse pehli 10 generations nahi kar rahi hoti how does that happen so we'll talk, we'll come to that ji putter what we need is to see the process but isn't not to be the So we we challenge that up front, right? We said that you know creativity is not bound to usefulness. We are not defining. That was one definition we gave the reference, and we said उसके साथ ही कि हमारे ख्याल में but they're gonna completely जो so हो सकता है कि जो एक completely useless चीज़ है like bad art, right? वो creative नहीं है because वो किसी को move नहीं कर रहा, right? Leonardo da Vinci, please. Ye har dafa kyu hota hai? In every class, why does this happen? Okay. So that's why he is up there as a high degree of creativity key example, right? Okay, so he's he's there. He's there. He's he's like he's not constrained by usefulness, right? So in some ways, creativity is letting go of all the constraints that are there, and usefulness is one of the earlier constraints to be gotten rid of. Nahi, baad mein. Um, okay, so this is a list. This is a book. Who has read this book? Hundred most influential people in the world. Kya? Many or Dr. Salman? Kya? Are we like dating ourselves? Or ye bache sare? Acha, aap ne padhi hui hai. उल्टा नेगेटिव इसका नेगेटिव सीपी लगाओ इसकी जो है ना जी सर लुक एट द लिस्ट जी पुत्र आपने पढ़ी हुई है सो व्हाट क्राइटेरिया डज ही यूज टू पुट पीपल इन दिस ऑर्डर 
people can look at this list. That's why I put the first 12, 14. Likho is list ko or tell me the criteria that he is judging them by. Ji putar, uncha bolay. Uncha putar, mujhe sunayin de ra. Right, so it, it, it is a, it is a, a book about you know just when they idea था उसका कितना influence है. But what things is he rating them on? जी पुत्र. I think the ranking is done on the basis of number one के जो idea है how is it influencing influencing people. For example, religion basis पे I can see के start में बहुत ज़्यादा. हाँ हाँ. Ranking and then it goes on to other things. So I think like primarily it's focusing on the religion aspect and then. It's no, it's it's focused on influence. Religious people are just showing up on that. जी पुत्र. It's the new things that they brought about. So religion and science and math. Okay, so it's people with new ideas, and he's counting them by the number of people that they have influenced, and the way the number of people who are influenced are being counted is over what time. So if you uh, influence a hundred, like a lakh people for one year, you know that's only one year. But if you if you if you influence a thousand people for a thousand years, that's a much larger number. What other criteria? You you guys have not read the book, so the other criteria that he uses is that he sees whether their idea. Was out of sync with their time, or whether it was an idea whose time had come, right? So the reason Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and all these people are not up there in innovation is because computation got time aya hua tha, right? Ye log na karte to koi aur kar leta, right? So basically, this is one of the criteria. I mean, technology, baki sari social movements, wo kider thi ek cheez ka vakt aya hua. Then you'll see ke. In five or six societies, somebody will actually come up with that idea. So one of the things, uh, one of the one of the ways we gauge creativity is what is the environment around you. Is the reason Muhammad is up there is a because obviously there are a lot of Muslims, and his influence has been going strong for a long time. And many Muslims are quite observant Muslims. But the other reason is where was Muhammad born in Mecca, which was a major trading city. and he was born into not a very rich but very privileged tribe did he have any reasons any societal reasons any personal reasons to actually say there is no social justice in this society except that he could think of a world in which social justice was there right so so remember when the quraish came to him and they said we will give you money we will make you a chieftain and we'll give you beautiful women why don't you move away from this because for them that was the currency of that society and muhammad because he was born into a distinguished um, tribe may peace be upon him could have had access to the good things that that system gave to the people at that distinct level of distinction for a person like that to walk away from that and then what and where do where does the whole social justice problem come from for 15 years several times a week he would go to this cave and basically take some food with him and sit and meditate on what is the way around that and that is the place where the quran comes from so if you think that creativity is something that is divorced from you that is you know just because you're not looking for it So Newton is interesting because Newton is exam an example of both completely out of the box, completely totally new thinking, but also he invented calculus. Who else invented calculus at roughly the same time? Mun min 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 se pata nahi chalta. Uncha? Okay. Ji pata. No, not algorithmic. <laughs> Leibniz Leibniz invented calculus both in 1600s pretty much within few weeks of each other so clearly the time for calculus had come right what's this completely out of the box idea how many of us have seen fruit fall from a tree and just mai to sochti hu saaf karna padega right you know like that's what i think of right and he's like why is it falling towards the earth like do you do, you, do you, so it's it's creativity is not like ultra hard you need to sort of look at routine things with completely new eyes because you always see things fall towards the earth we never even question why are they feeling falling towards the earth whereas newton was like why doesn't it go towards fly up go towards the sky right so that's completely out of the box jupiter 
that's a really good question that we don't have time for. Come ask me offline. We'll, we'll talk about it in a little bit, OK? OK, so this is Muni Nyazi. And uh, who reads good Urdu? Ibrahim, chalo padho. Uncha, uncha, or tez tez? Uncha? जिनको था दूरी ने घेरा इतनी बड़ी तनहाई थी जिसमें जागता रहता था दिल मेरा बहुत कदीम फिराक था जिसमें एक मुकर हद से आगे सोच ना सकता था दिल मेरा ऐसी सूरत में फिर दिल को ध्यान आता किस खाब में तेरा राज जो हद से बाहर में था अपना आप दिखाता कैसे सपने की भी हद थी आखिर सपना आगे जाता कैसे Right? So he, he is basically saying, how could I think of you when the entire world that I knew, you did not exist in that world? Right? So that is the question that we are grappling with, because there are clearly people who think of things that do not exist in the world around them, right? who can think of a different paradigm to explain the world that is around them. Okay? Okay, examples of high quality derivative work. G. Ibrahim, you tell me first. Based on what? No, derivative work is work that was is, is high quality work just and people just did it. Huh? Chat GPT. Chat GPT is a good example. Okay, G put that. Okay. But is Chat GPT much better than Google Google um, AI? So in that limited realm, it is creative. Hai. But it's a very good example of derivative. It is derivative. It is derivative. It is completely derivative. I'm not cheap with it. I was thinking of AI art, actually, because it takes on all other art that can be done. No, but you don't have creative. It doesn't mean it. I don't think it's creative. I think it's extremely derivative. Uh -huh. But it's created for me. OK, but like we are talking about high quality, which we think of in the common way. So I'll, 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 I'll frame this. So Shakespeare, right? Shakespeare is just the, the best English writer that there is, but none of Shakespeare's stories are original. These are all folk tales that Shakespeare already knew. Drama was a huge deal in Shakespeare's time. Is he amazing, profound, you know, understands humanity at a really deep gut level? Does he, is he able to make a story that you already know come all alive for you? Yes, all of those things. But is, I mean, is that story that somebody else equally talented couldn't have written in his time? No. OK, Jeebutar. Uh, yeah, and there was g political support and all of this other things. Yes, good example. Hmm. So, so I so I actually started writing that, and I wasn't sure. I don't know enough about Jenner's times and his life. Clearly, I would not go about and vaccinate completely healthy people. I mean, Jenner ki audacity badi thi. Usne wo cheese banai aur usne fir thok di saare log ko. Usne kaha ki jo jaane na paaye koi bhi aur matlab kuch mein se agar banda mar jata to bahut buri honti. Ji putar. Okay. Unhon to chori ki thi sidi sidi, right? They, they stole the work of somebody else's fax machine. So wo to, wo to, wo to bilkul creative ki category mein aate to chori ki category mein aate hain. Ji putar, uncha. That's another like, niche example is tailor-made for all equipment. Mm-hmm. Um, you think like the progress in one equipment overall is pretty much aspects of different Okay, that's a good example. Ji putar, uncha. I'm not sure this is comes under the framing of derivative, but for example, like you gave the example of Newton, right? Mm -hmm. But we do know that the ideas of calculus and a lot of that theory had already been done in mm -hmm. the Caliphate, mm -hmm. uh, in the Umayyad and the Basque dynasties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So does that then count as derivative? Because it, 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 so so because it was coming from an outside source, multiple people had access to the foundational work. That's why Le Le Leibniz and Newton did it roughly at the same time. So these are other, Louis Pasteur, right? Germ theory of disease, amazing. The microscope had already been made. Europe was having all this other work on base. So, you know, the father of modern medicine, absolutely. Truly original, no. Descartes, you know, maybe more original than Louis Pasteur, but many of his ideas, the Arabs had beaten to death. 
and you know not come to a conclusion and Descartes was like alada alada kar do mind either spirit either like let's separate them right let's study each separately and so that we actually come to some reproducible experimentation um ghalib amazing as ghalib is i'm a huge ghalib fan but is there anything in ghalib that is outside his experience of delhi sort of dying around him and his sad life you know he so so this is like you know i so what i'm trying to tell you is that very high quality work that comes from things around you is nothing to be scoffed at right but then there are people who live absolutely sort of lives that are their work and their lives do not match and i think that is the highest level of creativity and we'll to talk about truly creative people in a minute and go from there aristotle rumi van gogh newton and libens ji but the but is his work does his work start a completely new tradition or had their work been done, had there been work done in that same tradition was 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 nahi but not at all he's just at the height of that aesthetic so he is where that aesthetic finishes he did not start that there are people who are obviously not of rumi's caliber but you know right very much in the same tradition so it's one thing to be at the peak so like can i write like alip or can like you know have like five other generations of people who've tried to write like alip can write like alip but is alip completely writing of his world that he is engulfing him yes right okay so these are examples of truly creative work einstein was there anything in einstein's environment that forced him to think that sit on a beam and you know beam that across the universe he was not even a mathematician he had to find somebody to write the maths equations for him these were purely mental experiments for him okay the the prophet muhammad we already talked about leonardo da vinci hero of alexandria at a time when the technology completely did not support what he wanted to build was building things like the steam engine um similarly zhang heng was building i i'm trying to forget uh, forgive forgive me i can't remember what zhang heng was building ji butter so he so no no the, the, the particular thing for which i put him he built machines that could actually uh um, figure out when there was going to be an earthquake and where the center of the earthquake was even if it was hundreds of miles away um picasso so picasso is an example because everybody around picasso uh at when picasso started the cubist movement everybody around him was doing impressionist stuff right so van gogh is like the height for me for of impressionist work but were, were there were there people who painted like picasso before that right so that i mean so you know it's a it's a known you can say it's derivative because the known medium painting is a known medium you know he was in europe which was the hub but it's a completely new movement uh, i mean has we have people seen picasso's work that is not cubist right i mean he's pretty good even when he doesn't do that right but his true innovation is in that you yeah so that's actually so that's that child like state that's associated with creativity so junju hum as 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 we get older we put more and more constraints on our thinking this person will not like this if i say this it's going to get shot down here this is not going to fly in the face of that so you need to sort of give up those constraints and go back to the child like state that's what picasso is talking about right so so fleming is there what did fleming do penicillin so why have i put his name there there is that but also but remember how there was how was penicillin discovered accidentally. accidentally so if it were me i would just have thrown that agar plate away i would have said in fact ho gaya right let me throw that away he sort of looked at it and he said my god the bacteria around the mold are all gone right um newton we already talked about darwin same thing you know 
यू कैन हु हैज़ बिन टू द यार जो एक्वाडोर के पास प्लानट्स हैं आइलैंड्स हैं क्या नाम है उनका हैज़ एनी बडी बिन देयर नो ओके आई हैव नॉट बिन देयर आई पर आई हाँ इट्स इंटायरली पॉसिबल इतनी बड़ी क्लास है कि कोई बच्चा गया हो जी पुत्र ऊंचा पुत्र बट पुत्र टू थिंक ऑफ दैट and then to basically have the uh, the implementation power to actually come he wrote calculus because he wanted to write a formula for every for every position of the apple as it fell from the tree to the uh, i mean your standards could be higher that's that's pretty darn good for me huh karl marx acha karl marx ne kya atha mara i am not going there okay so yes darwin मैथमेटिक्स के बारे में How are you going to innovate in mathematics, right? Uh, creativity, relevant processes, task motivation, which is really important. We're going to talk about this in a second. And social environmental variables. आपके इर्द-गिर्द कोई नहीं है who appreciates your creativity. अगर आप कोई creative होते हैं तो आपको खाना नहीं दिया जाता. Very soon, it doesn't matter how creative you are. You probably, unless you're very, very, very determined, you're going to walk away from that environment, right? So all of these things matter. So domain-relevant skills include expertise, factual knowledge. technical skills talent in the respective creativity domain creativity relevant processes include cognitive styles so for example if i hear somebody else's idea then my brain stops generating new ideas i'm like iska chala lo inherently lazy right so mera defense mechanism kya hai i actually don't want to hear your idea unless i have had time to think about it myself i don't search anything i don't read a book until i have thought about it if i know enough about the problem until i have thought about it independently so are you doing that kind of um stuff so cognitive styles personality characteristics you know that are um that are in favor of creativity task motivation is i think really really important and i think especially in pakistan we don't think of this enough is that the motivation to engage in a task or work because it's interesting and personally challenging so if the problem that you're working on remember when in this class when we had said come up with the fascination question we had asked you what is its connection to your life if you're going to work on a problem for the rest of your life and it has no personal meaning for you believe me the chances that you will succeed are quite low whereas if a problem has personal meaning for you from circumstances of your life or because just find it fascinating but fascination mai batau badi fickle mistress hai abhi hai abhi ghayab chali gayi hai right but a pain point like god forbid if your parent died of a certain illness then your motivation to work on that illness is very high right aap ek interesting patient se mile the for 20 minutes and you were deeply affected then that lasting a lifetime is hard right and then finally creativity obviously we just talked about that ki social aapke circumstances ke upar bhi depend karti hai huh messy desks are they how are that is that relevant tum jo na filter apna jo hai usko uncha karo thoda sa how to study creativity mujhe koi batayega how how would we study creativity putra aap bataye blue shirt name aap se piche wale uncha bole नो नो पता हम साइंटिफिकली स्टडी करने लगे हैं न्यूरो साइंस में आ गए हैं वापस हम और हम सोच रहे हैं कि हम इस बंदे की क्रिएटिविटी असेस करें तो क्या एक्सपेरिमेंटल डिजाइन हो सकता है टू स्टडी क्रिएटिविटी गुड अच्छा तो वो बंदा स्टैचू बना रहा है और आपने उसको एम मशीन में डाला हुआ है 
ओके सो कैसे क्रिएटिविटी को स्टडी कर सकते हैं हम जी पुत्र बाद ऊंचा ओके बट हम उसके न्यूरल कोरोलेट्स को ढूंढने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं ओके सो दैट्स दैट्स कूल आइडिया एंड देन हु इज गेजिंग के उनका सबसे क्रिएटिव कौन है बिकॉज उसमें तो बायस इंट्रोड्यूस हो गया ना ओके आप मुझे बताओ पुत्र 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 हे थिंग हाउ इज सो आई सी कि उसमें आप देख रहे हो कि वो डिफरेंशियली काम कैसे कर रहे हैं बट हाउ आर यू लुकिंग एट इट्स न्यूरल कोरल एट्स हाउ आर यू फाइंडिंग आउट कि ब्रेन का कौन सा हिस्सा उसमें एक्टिव हो रहा है ओके और राइट ऊंचा सो दैट दैट यू बैक एट एफ एम आर आई राइट एफ एम आर आई में अंदर आपने डाला है लोगों को तो लोग काम कैसे कर रहे हैं सो बेसिकली दिस दिस स्लाइड इज एग्जैक्टली बात दैट के एफ एम आर आई एंड ई ई जी आर गुड मोडालिटीज टू स्टडी के कौन से हिस्से ब्रेन के को रिलेट हो रहे हैं बट दैट यू नो जैसे स्टोरी राइटिंग डांसिंग पेंटिंग अ पिक्चर कंपोजिंग अ पीस ऑफ म्यूजिक ये कुछ भी जो है इसमें से आप लेबॉर्ट्री नहीं लेके जा सकते जी पुत्र No, but that's 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 consumption, consumption, right? right? Our creativity is, creativity is the opposite of consumption, right? Ji, but the. ठीक है बट आप मुझे बताए की नॉवल वर्सेज नॉन नॉवल कैसे पता चल रहा है हमें कि हाउ डू वी गेज मैं बिल्कुल खुद खुद लाइन तरीके से उस प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व कर रही हूँ डॉक्टर नासिर कोई बड़ी उसमें अपनी नई साइंस लगा रहे हैं हाउ कैन वी टेल द डिफरेंस सो आप उसको वर्बली उनसे उसके ऊपर रिपोर्ट मांगो दैट्स नॉट अ बैड स्टडी डिजाइन जी पुत्र या सो 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 बेसिकली सो उसके लिए आपको पहले स्क्रीन करना पड़ेगा या That's true. Okay, so basically, you know, this is how, in the context of dancing, for example, researchers would require their participant to think of an original improvisation dance and compare the resulting brain activity to that measured while thinking of a monotonous sequence of movements. Okay, बिल्कुल एक टांग हिलाते जाओ, हिलाते जाओ, हिलाते जाओ. पहले वो सोचो, and then फिर एक नई move जो है उसके बारे में सोचो. तो देखो क्या light up करता है. No, no, not right now. Writing or drawing a pen would hinder reliable fMRI. तो वो बेसिकली उनको पहले क्रिएटिव आइडिया कहते हैं कि सोच लो फिर दे आस्ट एम टू स्पीक इट आउट लाउड इसमें क्या प्रॉब्लम्स हैं व्हाट आर डिजाइन प्रॉब्लम्स इन दीज स्टडीज जी पुत्र नो नो बट जो 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 बंदा खुद है जो दे आर एक्टिंग एज एन ऑफ वन कि वो पहले एक बिल्कुल मोनोटनस मूव सोच रहे हैं और फिर एक बिल्कुल कम्प्लीटली नई मूव सोच रहे हैं तो दैट इज नॉट द प्रॉब्लम व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम यू आर एज्यूमिंग कि जब आप डांस सोच रहे होते हो और मूवमेंट साथ कर रहे होते हो तो उसके न्यूरल कोरिलेट्स और इस प्रोसेस के न्यूरल कोरिलेट्स एक ही होंगे विच इज द सेम प्रॉब्लम दैट यू हैव इन द स्टोरी राइटिंग वाला प्रॉब्लम कि जब आप स्टोरी ओरिजिनली सोच रहे हो अभी आप उसको बोल नहीं रहे राइट right? जो भी मैं सोचूँ अल्फाज बर्बाद करें उसको देर इज अ सॉन्ग लाइक दैट सो जो सो बेसिकली वन यू कन्वर्ट दैट आइडिया इन टू लैंग्वेज डू द न्यूरल कोरिलेट्स चेंज और नॉट ओके ओके सो दिस इज अ रियली इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट जिसमें वो दे शो यू दैट ब्लैक स्क्रीन फर्स्ट जिससे फिक्सेट हो जाता है फिर दे शो यू दिस मूव जहाँ पे आगे जो सॉकर प्लेयर है उसने अगली मूव करनी होती है and then basically they tell the person in the fmri ke ya to koi ghisi piti move socho ya nayi move socho right and they see ke kya light up karta hai and then they ask jo inka idea tha ke they ask him ke verbally ke batao ke tumne kya socha tha right and they gauge ke usne koi ghisi piti move sochi hai ke nayi move sochi hai so this is this is remember this is very creativity very much in the derivative mode but this is one way to uh, study this neural correlates अगर हम जो हमने ये सारा तो बट वी हैव डू हैव द मोडालिटीज दैट वी हैव टू स्टडी न्यूरल कोरिलेट्स ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी इज नॉट आर नॉट ग्रेट बट वी हैव सम वर्क ऑन देम एंड व्हाट वी हैव फाउंड इज दैट एक बहुत वाइड स्प्रेड 
पैटर्न आपको इमर्ज करता है न्यूरल नेटवर्क्स में जिसमें आपको एग्जैक्टिव फंक्शन भी होना चाहिए मेमोरी प्रोसेस होने चाहिए इंटरनली फोकस्ड अटेंशन होनी चाहिए राइट right? जब आप एक्चुअली आइडिया के बारे में सोच रहे हो तो यू कांट बी डिस्ट्रैक्टेड बाय पंद्रह चीजें राइट इंटरनली फोकस्ड अटेंशन होल्ड करना हु कैन रीड हेयर अ होल पेज लाइक एन आर्टिकल का विदाउट बींग डिस्ट्रैक्टेड बाई मेरे फोन पे क्या आया राइट right? एक like, दो लोग हैं हमें से जो जो कि कर सकते हैं बट इंटरनली फोकस्ड अटेंशन इज अज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्किल फॉर बींग एबल टू कम अप विद न्यू आइडिया एंड स्पॉन्टेनियस मोड्स ऑफ थाट कि बेसिकली आपको कहीं पर जो स्नैच ऑफ अ थाट आया वो आपने पकड़ लिया है राइट सो सो अगर आप किसी नई इम्प्रूवमेंट का सोच रहे हो तो यू नीड द मेमरी प्रोसेस टू बिल्ड नॉवल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दीज प्रोडक्ट्स कि आपने इंटरनली उसका जो पुराना वाला है उसकी मेमरी भी है और उसके ऊपर आपने सुपर इम्पोज कर लिया कि आप नया क्या बना रहे हो सस्टेन इंटरनली और अटेंशन टू गाइड इमेजिनेशन विग्रेस एग्जेक्टिव कंट्रोल टू रियलाइज अफेक्टिव एंड यूजफुल टास्क सोल्यूशन बाई इवेलुएटिंग एंड इलेबरेटिंग प्रिलिमिनरी थिंकिंग रिजल्ट अगर आपका एग्जेक्टिव फंक्शन अच्छा नहीं है और आप एक बात सोचनी शुरू की है एंड उसके तीसरे मिनट में आपको दूसरी सोच आ गई है और उसने वो पहली वाली लाइन ऑफ थाट टर्मिनेट कर दी है तो आप वहीं पर आप आप यू you नो know, आपका आपका आइडिया वहीं पर खत्म हो गया एंड देन इनहेबिटिंग प्रोपोनेंट कन्वेंशनल रिस्पॉन्स आपका ब्रेन बिकॉज एटलीस्ट मेरा ब्रेन इज वेरी लेजी उधर मैं सोचना शुरू करती हूँ कि अच्छा उसका और क्या तरीके है वो सारे जो पुराने सोल्यूशन होते हैं ना वो मेरे सामने लाला के प्रेजेंट करता है कि ये सोच लो ये सोच लो जी इट्स जस्ट लाइक जब आप द प्रॉब्लम लाइज इन क्रिएटिविटी इट सेल्फ द प्रॉब्लम इज हमें क्रिएटिविटी की एक्चुअली डेफिनेशन इतनी सब्जेक्टिव है कि हम उसको डिफाइन नहीं कर सकते क्रिएटिविटी के न्यूरल को रिलेट्स डिफाइन करना इतना मुश्किल नहीं है क्योंकि न्यूरल को रिलेट्स डिफाइन करने के तो हमें स्टैंडर्ड तरीके पता हैं बट किस वक्त किस चीज़ को डिफाइन करना है दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम और ये जिस तरह डॉक्टर बसमा कह रही है क्रिएटिविटी इज नॉट अ वन टाइम थिंग इट्स एन इवॉल्विंग प्रोसेस आप जब एक पेंटिंग बना रहे हो इन द मिडल ऑफ द पेंटिंग आप कहते हो कि नहीं यार यहाँ पे ब्लू नहीं यहाँ पे हमें हल्का सा टेंज परफ्लिश भी देना है सो दैट्स बींग क्रिएटिव ऑन अ कंटिन्यूस बेसिस अब वो चीज किस तरह न्यूरल को रिलेट में ट्रांसलेट होगी दैट्स द बिग प्रॉब्लम सो बेसिकली वॉट वी फाइंड इज दैट पीपल हु आर इन जनरल मोर क्रिएटिव दैन दे आर नॉन नॉट सो क्रिएटिव पीयर्स इज दैट उनमें दो न्यूरल नेटवर्क जो आमतौर पर जब एक होता एक्टिव होता है तो दूसरा क्वेश्चन हो जाता है हाउ मेनी पीपल हेयर नो वट दिफॉल्ट मोड नेटवर्क इज ओके डॉक्टर नासर आप इनको बताएंगे कि डिफॉल्ट मोड नेटवर्क क्या होता है डिफॉल्ट मोड नेटवर्क इज दैट बैकग्राउंड नेटवर्क जैसे कॉस्मिक बैकग्राउंड रेडिएशन आप लोगों ने सुना हुआ है दैट्स द डिफॉल्ट रेडिएशन जो स्काई में से आ रही है व्हेन यू आर नॉट रियली लुकिंग एट समथिंग इसी तरह डिफॉल्ट मोड नेटवर्क इज व्हेन यू आर नॉट डूइंग और थिंकिंग ऑफ एनीथिंग यू आर जस्ट रेस्टिंग यू आर लेटिंग योर ब्रेन लेट गो and then whatever activity we record from the brain is called the default mode network so it's sort of sleeping while you are awake and spontaneous ideas often arise in the default mode network dusra jo network hai it's the executive function which is goal directed and you're doing something and generally hota hai ki jab aapka executive function kaam kar raha hota hai to aapka default mode network by definition inhibit ho jata hai right so aap aap keh rahe ho acha maine bas ye jo hai na ye wala kaam is waqt tak khatam karke isko khatam karna hai क्रिएटिव पीपल एक्चुअली जब वो क्रिएटिव काम कर रहे होते हैं तो उनके दोनों नेटवर्क लाइव होते हैं सो द डिफॉल्ट मोड नेटवर्क एक इज डिफॉल्ट मोड नेटवर्क इज ऑफरिंग दम आइडियाज देन विच देर एग्जैक्टिव फंक्शन इज देन फनलिंग इन टू दैट वर्क जी पुत्र ये आर्ट है पुत्र सिखाना पड़ता है अपने आप को और आपकी जनरेशन ने जो मिस कर दी है वो बोर्ड बहुत जोर की हाउ कैन यू नॉट बी थिंकिंग सो जब मैं छोटी थी सो आई टेल यू हाउ सोसाइटी ट्रेंड है जब मैं छोटी थी और लोग पीपल वुड डाई एंड यू वुड गो टू देयर फ्यूनरल्स यू वुड सिट बिसाइड्स अ गिटकों का यू नो ढेर एंड यू वुड बी टोल्ड कि इसके ऊपर सुराय यू नो सुराय इखलास या दरू शरीफ पढ़ो एंड माई मदर वुड से डू नॉट थिंक ऑफ एनी थिंग एल्स वाइल यू आर रिसाइटिंग दिस मांट्रा of like you know just mujhe us waqt arbi ki bhi samajh nahi aati thi but that was society's way of training you to focus on something that you really did not want to focus on and wo sustained hota tha aap wo hazar padhte the ya 500 so you still thinking ki maine ye padhna hai no 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 so no so the goal is that you are focusing on the movement of your tongue and what what message this is sending to the person who's departed matlab i can't process 
No, so but then you are focusing on one thing. So in this case, you're focusing on what message this is sending to the deceased. You're not thinking of Khana Kab Sir, where you otherwise I guess he's right that when you're even thinking about one thing you are thinking about something yeah you are focused on one thing I mean mm -hmm. when not but default mode network is when you're awake and still not thinking of anything men have more ability to do this than women you know that so specifically creative thinking has been associated with an increased functional a connectivity between default and executive brain networks potentially reflecting the interplay between generative and evaluative thinking processes. So aapka default mode network jo hai wo generate kar raha idea aur aapka executive network jo hai wo dekh raha hai ki acha isko evaluate karke isko kahan bheja jaye. Uh, this is a particularly remarkable finding just I just I just said that because generally when one is active activation of one automatically basically abort the other one. Um, the prefrontal cortex, anterior cingulate uh, cortex, and striatum are the areas which are involved in creative cognition. Dopamine, serotonin, and or epinephrine have been li linked to creativity. Dopamine is also associated with motivation and reward. Serotonin and or epinephrine is involved in mood regulation and attention. So basically, what this is trying to tell you is that creativity generally so. Um, what does creativity come out of? Like, when we talk about regular vernacular, mein baat karte hai, how much great literature has come out of the US in the last 100 years? How much has come out of Russia? In 20th century, where did all the great novelists, where, which nationality did all the great novelists belong to? Russians, right? They were the giants because the society was in turmoil. That personal motivation to somehow sublimate that was really high. So when you're very soccer, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're very uplifted, creativity is hard, right? It, it, it's basically there's a solution. You're looking for it. It doesn't come easily. There's no real roadmap to guide you. If you do not have a personal reason to go after the answer, you may be like, Acha chalo yari, kaur chocolate chip, chip cookie khalo. Okay, so how can we be creative? So direct experience of the world is really, really important. And I want to spend um, a minute on, on talking about this. So remember, your brain is much older than you are. Essentially, you know, birds have made brain, we have made it much more evolved form, inherit kar liye, right? So the brain builds its own virtual reality, but it firmly believes that that is the only virtual reality that is. Right? In the last couple of hundred years, we have started offering it other realities. So Shakespeare ke zamane se drama hote the, jo ke humara ek conscious part of the brain ko pata hota tha ki ye drama hai. Right? But hab usme intrigued hi isliye the because wo hume move karta tha. Now we have 50 or virtual realities, right? So the brain has no idea that ye virtual realities jo hain, ye completely virtual and ka real world se bilkul hi koi taluk nahi hai, right? So the impact the brain the brain only has one gauge to figure out ke kya kitna important hai, and that is your emotional response so jo virtual realities ab hum experience karte hain wo itni real hain ki hame usse anxiety or insomnia to ho jata hai but they are not high enough to matter to us agar if in, if somebody has died in a drama we may be grief stricken for like 3 minutes but it's not going to last it's not going to move us to change our behavior for the next several years right so basically, it's a muscle, and so it, so what happens is that the brain can't decide what should it focus its creative activity on, its creative focus on. It doesn't understand that I do this thing. You have to spend time with people. You have to spend time in nature. That is where you know, sort of like the generative seed comes from. You have to shut off the logical brain, which is through meditation or music. And we'll talk about the red book in a minute. Or you can enter alternative reality states voluntarily. Right? So, iska ek tarika ye ki aap marijuana peele. I do not recommend that. Uske bohat sare aur jo side effects hain, wo kitne achche nahi hain. But, uh, so, who here has heard of the red book? I said us din ki red book padh ke aao. Ke baare mein padh ke aao. Not a single person. Good job. Kisi ek bache ne jo hai na, ja ke look up nahi kiya. Rana, main tumhe jo hai na personally responsible hold kar rahi uske liye. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. So the Red Book is this book that Jung wrote that was published. Uh, his family allowed its publication a hundred years after he was gone. 
and um, it's uh, the actual name is called Liber Nervis. It was a re it was the reason it's called the Red Book is because it was a thick red diary that many people knew that Jung was keeping during his life. Some privileged close friends and family actually also knew what was going on. So for a period of ten years, Jung would deliberately enter these these states of alternative activity. Uh, there is good evidence that he did not have schizophrenia because one hypothesis is that did he have schizophrenia? And I mean, obviously, when you have schizophrenia, you have multiple realities, right? That's one of the definitions of schizophrenia. Uh, but he was still seeing patients in the afternoon and still functioned otherwise quite well. So we don't think he had schizophrenia. Uh, I've tried to research how he entered these alternative states of reality, but it's clear that he was in a different world where he was able to give up, you know, the strong associations between things and able to focus just on weak associations. And what he encountered in that other world, he recorded in, in Liber Novus. Is it time? Okay. All right, guys, uh, while she's distributing. So I encourage all of you to at least look through it. Uh, Jung says that all his work afterwards in his life, this period didn't last forever, it was 10 years, it finished. And all his subsequent work, uh, he says, came from that period. The other person um, that, you know, I, I, whose work I really admire and who also talks about this is Tim Burton, um, the Hollywood producer, uh, director who talks about the fact that waking is a complete waste of time and that life is really daydreaming and sleeping, and daydreaming and dreaming is, is, is where the real sort of meat of the life is.